uh, by my count, eight potential competitive te teams between the National mm -hmm. League East and the American League East. Do you see wild card teams emerging from the two Easts or too much attrition there? I think you'll have one wild card come out of each of those divisions, one for the NL, one for the AL. Um, uh, to say two, I would love to put two in the NL East because I think that division is probably the best in baseball. Um, but I think it's going to be really hard to do that because they're playing the AL East. And because there are two, you know, the Red Sox, I don't know if I consider them a true contender. The Rays for sure, obviously the Yankees. Um, but the Blue Jays are kind of a question mark and people have no idea what to expect from them. So I think it's going to be a very, very, you know, competitive uh, battle between these two divisions. And it's going to be interesting to see who comes out. I, I just only have one wild card team coming out of each because of those schedules. I agree with him. I think it's going to be difficult, the Central, Doug, because the Central Division is definitely the weakest. They have, you know, certainly they have Detroit, Kansas City, but Pittsburgh in the in the NL uh, Central is uh, weaker. And I know in some of those, uh, you know, like the NL Central certainly gotten better. We know Cincinnati's gotten better. We know in the AL Central, the White Sox have gotten a whole lot better, too. But those weaker teams... Um, you know, certainly stand out. There's only one in the in the East on either side, and that's the Orioles. And like I said earlier, the Marlins are going to be better. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly who Tampa is going to be very difficult to, to compete with, um, and I think it's going to be a toss-up, but I do think there's another wildcard team out of the NL East. Yeah, I don't think you're getting two teams in the wild card from the National League East or the American League East. I mean, Jim is right. The Central, look at how bad that is. In a 60-game schedule, the top teams in the Central are going to feast on the lesser teams. It's going to be much easier when you look at their schedule compared to the Eastern Division. So I do think that that schedule is going to play a big factor as a, uh, you know, in regards to who gets in to the postseason out of the NL and AL East. Anthony, how do you not overthink when you're playing the Marlins or the Orioles how badly you need to sweep them to compete with everybody else in your division. Absolutely. That's going to be an interesting, you know, obstacle for some of these teams to compete with. And, I mean, the Marlins, when I played, definitely had our number at times, and that would be a really tough thing to do to lose a couple of games to these Marlins or to these Orioles teams because you really should dominate them.